For nearly 50 years, the Virginia Scottish Games have put heavy athletics in the spotlight, bringing competitors from all around the country. This weekend in Fauquier County, the Festival of Sports, Food, Music, and Culture returns. Tommy McFly has a preview for you in the scene. What are like four things people think of when they think of Scottish heritage? I think they think of kilts. They think of whiskey. We like to think they think of athletics and throwing a tree end over end, and also piping and drumming and Highland dancers. Nice. A couple more than four, but I'll allow it. Let's talk <laughs> about those log throwing, by the way. <laughs> to the like civilian, non-Scottish person, I'm like, oh, they're throwing logs. But I know that there's more to it than that. That's part of um, the Scottish kind of strength sports uh, world. And it's actually called a caber. It's C-A-B-E-R, caber toss. And Caber's Gaelic for tree, so it is what it is. It's a tree. You pick it up and you try to flip it end over end. Um, and it's part of nine other events that are all part. It's, it's kind of like Scottish decathlon, if you will. How heavy are they? Well, they're trees, so they get cut <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, so they can range anywhere. Um, but typically, the women will throw 80 to 100 pounds, mm -hmm. and then the men might throw 120 to 150. Is it user friendly for just like anyone to show up and kind of get and un understand what's going on? Absolutely, we've got a little bit of something for everyone. We've got a whiskey tasting if that's more your speed. And mm -hmm. This year, we're actually featuring the United States Air Force band Celtic Air, so we're really excited to have them. There's a fiddle tent. There's Highland dancing. There's dogs if you like dogs. There are 13 Scottish dog breeds, and we also have the border collies doing sheep herding. What are like the traditional Scottish dishes that people can, <laughs> can, can enjoy? I don't feel like we're known for our food. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> there's a reason we make whiskey and so, drink it. Traditional <laughs> food uh, includes haggis, uh, yeah. which is, I'm going to let you discuss so, haggis. <laughs> haggis is essentially all of the leftovers of a sheep mm -hmm. cooked with lard, um, or uh, not, not lard, suet oatmeal, salt and pepper, put in a sheep's stomach and boiled. Mm. Um, but fish and chips is a huge thing. Yes. And varieties and meat pies are all good. And shortbread. Shortbread is a fantastic dessert. But to be clear, we do have like hamburgers and like, <laughs> like, like American food too. <laughs> if you want to go and be like Scott-ish. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. With the scene, Tommy McFly, News 4.